Good morning, Pulse Warriors. Welcome to Pulse Fitness. This is Coach JLo, and I'm here to take you through an awesome workout today to keep you sane during this time. We have shoulders and glutes today, two of my favorite body parts to work for aesthetics, shoulders and legs. So let's get busy. Let's have some fun. It is freezing in I here today, I so am. I'm gonna start with some jumping jacks. Join me right here. Let's start warming up those shoulders. Hang out with me for the next, I don't know, what do you think, AJ? 50 minutes, 55 minutes? I have some fun stuff for you guys today, and I'm gonna show you what you need for this workout. Okay, I'm gonna give me some big arm circles. AJ's gonna follow me over here. What I have set up today is a suitcase for some suitcase carries, a set of dumbbells, a bench or an ottoman or something you can sit on, and of course your purple band. So right now, if you have nothing of this set up, I want you to grab it. It might take you a second. I know some of you already have those suitcases packed because it is spring break week. Then it's perfect. You got 50 pound suitcase. If you need to grab a bag or something, we are going to go into I suitcase carries a little bit later. So make sure you grab that right at the end of this warm up. All right. Okay. So let's keep this the, the party going. Let's start with some big arm circles. So I'm starting here on my right side. And I'm going to reverse it and go to the left side. I'm just going to switch that box. Nice Starting to get some mobility here in the shoulder. Get warmed up. Reverse. Good. And if you have that purple band, you can go ahead and grab it for shoulder breakers. You don't even need it. You can just go over and front and over. Really, what you just need to worry about is squeezing those shoulders and concentrating on getting that full range of motion. I kind of showed you how to do this the other day with the technique, him and, Nia, uh, him and uh, Nick here on the, the pulse floor. A couple more just like this, and then we're gonna hug it out, because everybody needs a big hug. <laughs> maybe you've been getting a lot of hugs if you're home with your entire family, or maybe we need to throw some punches, one or the other, right? <laughs> I know, I'm kind of right in the middle right now. All right, a couple of huggers. Let's warm up those hips as we're doing this. Let's go ahead and take a uh, squat, like shoulder width apart or a little wider. I like to go a little wider in the beginning just because I am not quite warmed up, but if you have good flexion, go ahead and take those feet facing forward. I'm gonna sink the butt down, keep the chest up, tummy in. We're gonna work on opening up those hips. So come on down to this position for me and then just crank open those knees. Keep that chest nice and loud, butts down right here. I'm gonna I hold for just I a own. second. Good. Good. Go ahead and take the hands to the ground. Jump the feet back. You know what to do. I want you to jump your feet forward. Replace the hands, sink the butt down, drive it on up. Let's get warm. Go ahead and do this with me. We got about five of them right here. Sink it up, down, up, up. See if you can take your feet off, or hands off the ground as your feet land. A little trick there. Okay, one more time. And all the way up. Go into a split stance for me. Take it all the way down to the ground here. I got a hip flexor stretch, so tuck those hips under. Nice pelvic tilt, reach the side. Feel that side open up. There you go. It's a good opportunity to get some stretching in. Go ahead and take it up into a Music runner stretch on the right imagine. side. Plant that hand and reach for the ceiling. AJ, what do you call this stretch? It's the world's greatest, of course. Oh, yeah. Reach to the ceiling. <laughs> Good, and back down. Let's go ahead and just switch sides on this one. Bring that foot. Guys, I like to look behind me, make sure my hips are aligned, toes facing forward. Encourage you to do the same thing. Plant that hand. Reach it on up. <sighs> I've been watching a ton of funny YouTube clips over the last couple, couple days over the weekend. All the things people are doing to stay busy. <laughs> While they're stuck at home. I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best things you can do to stay busy, right? Keep that body moving. Let's go ahead and jack it out one more time. Shake it off. Shake it off. Music licensing. Very imagine. good. I like to make these nice and big. Clap at the top. Smack the hips. Right? Nice and big. And take it down. Let's go into helicopter twist. So pivot side to side. We're going to twist out that spine. Always a good way to get warmed up. Right? I have some super fun things for you guys today. You're gonna need a 
blank wall space. So you might have to take a picture off the wall. You want a, <laughs> a place where your feet are not gonna go through the drywall. We are gonna do uh, wall sits in part of uh, one of my circuits today. And also shoulder push-ups, upside down shoulder push-ups. You're gonna love them. It's gonna make you feel athletic. We're gonna challenge your performance. I want you to find that wall Music space. Licensing. Let's go ahead and Reimagine. take it back down to the floor. We got a little bit of core activation to do. We're gonna warm up those calves a little bit as well. So come on down to that ground. Go into that plank position. Okay, lock it out for me. You know how to do that. Go ahead and keep it nice and tight. We're gonna go cross body mountain climbers. So my right knee goes into that left elbow on the inside. Crunch the core, crunch. Now hold for one second. See how far up you can get. I Should sound just like my voice right here. Okay, nice big crunches. Two, last one, and time. Kick that uh, butt up in the air and go ahead and pedal your calves into the floor, your heels into the floor. Stretching out those calves. Music licensing, we imagine. So the more the calves are stretched, the little deeper you can get into a squat and a wall stand. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna watch you guys. Make sure you're at 90 degrees. You can also grab a kid, a spouse, back into plank position here. We got shoulder taps. Find a nice pyramid stance. Push that ground away as hard as you can. Go back and forth. So on some of these exercises, it might be helpful to I have a child a spouse, somebody with you, if you want uh, someone to provide a little resistance for you, a little extra pressure, is something very simple anyone can do, such as sit on your lap in a wall sit. So you might want to prep that as well. We got three more, two more, Music and last and one. Imagine. Knees come down. Let's make sure that back is nice and mobile. So I want you to push the ground away, bring the blades together, push the ground away. Bring the shoulder blades together. Keep your arms locked out. Keep your tummy tight. We got four, three, two, and one. Tuck those toes under. Lift into that beast position. Hold nice and tight. Guys, the way I like to do this one is just little motions forward. Back, crunch, 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 forward. Let's go through this three times. See if you can keep those knees real close to the ground, about one inch from the ground as you move four steps forward, four steps back. Find that core, get it activated. You got three more. Music licensing. Two more. And last one. Good. Come on down. Whew. We're going to stretch those lats next, okay? That big muscle under the armpit. If your lats are tight, it's hard to get overhead. So when your lats are loosened, get way out here. Let's go into child's pose, one of my favorites. You can do this standing up, you can do it against the wall. You can do it on the floor like me. You do, let's show what it looks like against the wall or on a bag. I just, I oh, can you see your bags? I oh, like the false bags here. <laughs> you can grab the top of a bag or the wall and just again stretch out the lats anywhere you are. You see us doing it with bands, but once again this is what helps Get those shoulders up overhead, okay, which is the main purpose. Hang out here for another 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Couple deep breaths. Very good. Last chance at some shoulder dexterity. You can pretend like you've got a, pa a punching bag in front of you, or you can just pretend, I don't know, there's somebody else in front of you. Let's go ahead and give me those uppercuts. Pop those shoulders, work them out, roll them out. Keep that core tight. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, grab a quick drink. We're going right to the wall, just like I said. Shoulders and legs. Meet me there in a second. All right, Pulse Warriors, you ready for your first circuit? We're going into shoulders first. I have three different ways to do this exercise. Of course, we always start with the easiest way, so anyone can do it. At any point, if you want to come back to this first way, it's up to you. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. But we're going to do a shoulder handstand, okay? We're going to do it up against the wall. Um, so you can, this is probably the, the mentally easiest way to do a shoulder handstand is to start with your feet at the wall, okay? 
So if this is the case, I'm gonna go ahead and put my feet up there. I'm gonna slowly walk my hands towards the wall, all right? And my feet are up, and my shoulders are on fire, and my core's tight, and I'm locking them out and working the shoulders, all right? So that's gonna be a position any of you can get into. If you know that's where you're at, you can go ahead and get started. For some of you who want to take it to the next level, this is still level one. We're going into just a kick up. So it's like a I cartwheel that I do against the wall. So planting my hands about a foot away right here. I'm just gonna kick right up into a handstand. Now you can have your kids do this with you. This is actually kind of fun. You're gonna see every vein in my face start to pop out. You're gonna see veins in my forehead you never knew existed. This is round one. So if you're not already here, join me. All right, in this upside down handstand. Right now, we're just holding. This is all I want from you this first round. AJ, tell me when I hit about, I don't know, 30 more seconds here. I'm just hanging out, hanging out with the people. Upside down. This should make your day, guys. How often do you just be upside down? Play around your feet. Get some stuff marks on your drywall. Hey, I'm coming out. I want you to hang out here. Another 10 seconds. I bless keep going, I keep going, keep going, keep going. I think I was up there a little longer than you because I had to explain it. Awesome work. Three, two, and time. Right away. Flip your bodies over. Come on and join me right here. All right, now this is where I have to trust you to go into a 90 degree position, right? So what's this not, not doing? Not much of anything. Right here, I'm working, okay? Right here, now watch. My low back, my tummy's in, my shoulder blades are up against the wall. So I don't want any of this going on. Okay, I want you guys nice and upright. This is a great time to call over Junior or Susie and just have them sit right there on your lap, okay? What I'm looking for is 90 degrees, so knee is right above the ankle. Okay, I'm not out like this, I'm not under here, I'm not way out like this. Those are all incorrect positions. So I'm a good 90-90. You're gonna have somebody sit on your lap. You can also have weights available because we are gonna progress this. This is, this is round one. This is the easiest round. You better be doing with this with me the whole time because my legs are on fire. <laughs> I gotta be somewhere around the 30 second mark. What do you think, AJ? Somewhere around 30? Another 10 seconds. You can add in, obviously we're gonna add that weight. We can add in a weight with a little overhead motion here. These quads are on fire. I'm gonna lift my toes a little bit, put it in my glutes. Three, two, and time. Oh, oh ouch. Hot the burner. Doesn't take a lot of just body weight to make that one hurt. We are gonna progress it though, so if you wanna grab a weight and have it nearby, you can. All right, so just like I said, we're going right back into shoulders for round two. This time we are gonna progress it into shoulder push-ups, okay? This is where most of you are gonna stay for the next couple sets. Um, you can kick up or you can walk yourself up. All I'm looking for this time is a bend in the elbows and a press back up. This is definitely a strength workout. Give me eight to 12 reps, eight to 12 reps on your own. Here we go. And I'm up, oh, all the way up. And I do, press. I saw this in the top five best strength building exercises to do at home. Music all the way down. I got a couple more, AJ. And how red am I? That was hard. How many did you guys get? Did you get some little pulses in there? Doesn't take much, but I'm feeling pumped up right now. All right, kind of fun. We're back on the wall. All right, this time. I need you to start at the exact same time as me. Y'all here? Y'all with me? You hear me? Okay, ready, set. We're into wall sit right here. Okay. So I promise we're gonna take it up just a little bit this time. We're gonna hang out here for about the first 10 seconds. Like I always say, we're getting to the burn. Just building up to it. Hitting to the burn. Tell me, AJ, when I've hit about 10 seconds, or 15 seconds. Let's get the timer on this one. All right, five more. So I'm getting to the burn now. Time to bring it. Right leg comes up. Oh, now I'm working just that left leg. 
I'm fighting to keep this one up. I'm trying to keep my hips and, and shoulders square. Oh, I got 15 seconds here. I'm really finding that burn. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. I know it, five seconds. I'm shaking. Oh, switch legs. All right, 30 seconds down. You're gonna notice my legs are starting to shake. I hope yours are too. If you're doing it right, you got that good 90 degree position. Shoulders back. We're fighting for this. Music oh. And back down. Last 15 seconds. Just so this feels like a relief coming out of those single leg, single leg sits. This is no problem at all. Next time we add a weight. And time. Very good. All right, so we have one more round of shoulder push-ups. Actually, I think I'm gonna go two more rounds. I really like these today. Two more rounds of shoulder push-ups. I'm gonna add a progression. This is not, this is for the most athletic of my pulse warriors out there. I'm gonna try and get this on the first try, but forgive me if I don't. All right, so this is if you wanna really try and challenge yourself. If you get this movement down, if you can give me five to eight of these, I'd be super impressed. And I wanna know about it if you do, okay? So here I go. I have added a pillow. I'm gonna start this one in a headstand. Okay, so I'm gonna have my hands planted here and I go into a headstand position. Let's plant my hands. So I'm gonna bring my knees down just a little and then I push up. Ooh, nailed it. Down, knees come in. And I push up. Knees come down. Artlist.io Going again. Oh, that happens. Down. And kip. Ready. Ready. Push up. And that's about all I have in me. Whew. I know some of you are still working through those push-ups right now. That was hard. I'm going back to my push-ups next round. But I wanted to give you guys something to try at home, you know, to challenge yourself. If you didn't get it this time, hey, you got all week to practice, right? There's nothing stopping you. This time we're gonna grab that weight on that wall fit. Okay, first 15 seconds. Tell me when to start, AJ. One, all right, so now I'm down. So I'm working my legs, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of the shoulders. So I'm taking that weight out front, shoulders back. I'm just gonna go into an overhead press. Core tight. Looking good, lawyers. We're here for a full minute. Slow and controlled on this one. Yeah, feels good. Nice and tight. Keep going. Keep going. Reimagined. We are halfway. I've been told. Good. This is where us coaches are looking for some sort of coaching tip that I can come out of this <laughs> and go around and fix your form. But instead, today you guys get to see me power through with you. I'm with you guys. I'm trying to stay fit during this time too. Kids are making cookies at home, wanting to bake. I mean, it's torture. Oh, I probably have another five seconds. Two, and time. Good work, players. All right, give yourself just a second. We've got one more set. One more set of those shoulder push-ups. You can do a handstand on the wall, hold it there, two ways to get up. You can press it up, give me some shoulder pumps in that handstand position, or you can try kipping it again. It's totally up to you. I'm taking it back down to the shoulder push-ups. Okay, so I'm moving my pillow out of the way. I'm gonna kick it up onto the wall. Here we go. Eight to 12, that's your rep range. Artlist.io. Oh, that was a very big one at the end. Keep holding if you're holding, guys. Make sure you get a nice burn in the shoulders. I got something fun for you. Guys, here's what we're doing. True to Pulse Warriors, we got a fire drill. Oh, yes, you heard me right. Here's what's going to happen. You get one minute. You're going to press pause on this recorder. You're going to start counting. You gotta get out your front door in 10 seconds. Sprint 15 seconds down the street. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. You go 15 seconds, you turn around. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. 15 seconds to get back. Meet me back in your gym in no more than one minute for round two of our circuit training.
welcome back, Pulse Warriors. How'd you like that fire drill, huh? Super fun. Catch your breath, make sure your heart rates come back down. We're going into our next circuit. For this one, I have a special guest. Hey. <laughs> Not six finger rule. No. Patrick Murphy in the house. All right, so this one, we are gonna give you some options of using a partner. You don't have to have a partner on this one. We're gonna show it all different ways. But we've got a set of, of squats right into an overhead shoulder press, all right? Let's do it. So let's go ahead and uh, do it, first of all, without partner assistance. So in this case, I'm gonna have Pat grab his set of weights. I gave him a 15 here. All right, we're gonna work uh, a slow tempo on this one. So we're gonna drop it like it's hot, and then we're gonna go nice and slow on the way up. So find a squat position, Mr. Murphy. Where do you want those? You want them on your shoulders? You can do them down here. It's totally up to you guys. You can have one, you can hold it in the middle. Perfect, so shoulder width apart on those squats. And chest comes up right, he drops it like it's hot. Down, good. Now he's gonna slowly on the count of five, four, three, two, squeeze at the top, drop it like it's hot, and slow. So we're working that the, the tempo work on the way up. Did you guys try that at home? You guys know what we're doing? All right, so I know some of you are gonna wanna grab your kid right away and let them hang on that weight. And then some of you don't have a kid to grab and you're just gonna work that weight, squeeze the butt. So on this first one, we've got 10 reps, Patrick. 10 reps, drop it on the way down and slow on the way up. Making it hard on yourself by squeezing, slowing it down and working that tempo. Very good. Having some fun here. <laughs> so I know some of you, some of you have a uh, house full of kids running around and they can come right on over here. <laughs> yeah. So always do a little as I'm down, she hangs on me, and I gotta keep it here. Once yeah. she hangs on, you gotta keep it right at chin level. Let's go, one more. Where'd you, where'd you feel that? Uh, in my ass. In his ass. Perfect. All right, some of you have some, some of you have, get your mind out of here. All right, we can have a, a bench or, guys, you can just sit on the floor. You can sit up against a staircase. What I'm looking for is a place where someone can get behind you. So again, you can do this by yourself. Pat, let's just demonstrate. If you don't have someone at home with you, just a simple military press, right? So we're grabbing a set of dumbbells. He's on the floor, okay. So he's got those legs out in front. Good, come over here from the side. He's working the shoulder caps here, so nice big squeeze. You'll notice his wrists are right above those elbows as he presses up. Pat, when are you breathing? Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, guys. We're looking for that eight to 12 rep range for strength. I want you to squeeze. If you're working with those 10 pound dumbbells at home, I need you squeezing on each one of these reps, right? Getting them up. Are you squeezing? You're the squeeze. He's laughing. He's laughing. He's going to pretend like I'm ready to punch him in the stomach, which is, a, which is what I'm doing. Fire. Right? Fire. So making sure that core stays super tight, right? Do that whole one. What number are you on? Uh, 12. 12. All right. Yeah. You're done. You're done. Good. So if you guys don't have weights at home, back. Yes. So well, this will be next round. Okay. We're going we're gonna to demonstrate a couple different so ways. Music licensing reimagined. Add a little extra resistance here. Go up. I'm going to make him do it with weights in just a second. Go ahead and grab. Come on back up. We're right back into that squat set, so you're probably good and rested. This time I'm forcing a weight in his hand. One weight. All right. So if you do have a partner to do this with, why well, I brought Pat in, you can take those rep range more like eight to 10. I want you to slow it down, get a good solid burn. Five is, a, is really a decent number on this. So back in a squat position, go ahead and take that weight up in front. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on this time. All right, drop it like it's hot all the way down and slow on the way up. Had any perks of performance you want him to know about? Weight in the heels, knees, knees out. He says, weight in the heels. Knees out. Knees out. <laughs> don't bend forward at the waist. Very important, you got a straight back. It actually drags me. I don't want to come forward, because I would hurt ourselves. No, no so dragging forward. keep this right in line with the sternum. Look at my back, it's engaged, I'm strong here. Can I drive up? Very uh, good. That's what we want to do. Let's go, two more. You know, so I'm getting a little bicep workout. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
go ahead and go right back into the floor. Yeah, so up against a, uh, a step. If you have a bench, great, find a bench. We are gonna add that partner resistance. So time to call the kids back in the room. If you got a spouse at home, whatever you need. Otherwise, you're finding a set of dumbbells or some weight. Hopefully, you can go to get a good stimulus on, eight to 12 reps. Guys, you can always increase it by slowing down tempo and squeezing, right? All right, here we go. So he's gonna press up. This time, I'm gonna give that resistance on the way down. So press on overhead. Okay, he's locked out, and I'm gonna provide a little resistance. He's gotta fight as he brings those weights down. Squeeze, squeeze the shoulders. Good, and up. How's that resistance? Good. Yeah? Yeah, so right guys, now? what she's saying, if you don't have heavy weights, like five pounders, something that's very light at home, you know, all you need is a partner. Look how she's shoving me down. I'm actually working really, really hard right now. Oh my, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can probably tell from both of us we're working hard. Here we go. We got three more. Come on, Pat. Come on. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Is that all you got? Ugh. What do you got? Two. Come on, one more. Up. Ugh. Here we go. Last time. Squeeze on the way down, 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 down. And time. Awesome job, guys. Shake oh. that out. <laughs> I'm going to give Pat a break. This time I'm going to do the squats, all right? So. I'm going to show you, uh, basically what I want to show you on this one is how to do it without a partner. <clears throat> so if you didn't have a partner to give you the right amount of stimulus, you're going to go and go, go ahead and just do high reps this time. So feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to squeeze and slowly bring it up. Hips come all the way forward. I'm down, squeeze, bring it all the way up. And hips come forward. Check my squat stance because I always like to angle those toes out and I know it's not the best for me. So I'm always making I those little I adjustments. Am. Making it harder on myself. Tummy in. I just start to fatigue out. That's when you start thinking about what my proper form is. Weight heels. Right. Up. Right. Ooh, I'm getting a good workout now. Music licensing so we imagine. And last, ah, last one. Huh. See how out of breath I am? And that was just from a ton of squeezing, a slow tempo work, trying to make it even more intense on myself. All right, we're going to grab those weights now. Just back at it. Slow tempo work. This time I'm sitting on the box, keeping my body upright. Nice long spine. Pull up through the head. I'm going into that press position all the way up and then slow on the way down. So once again, no partner work, that's okay. Music licensing. Reps, okay? Squeeze harder. Fight for it. Reps, you can always add single counts in to finish your set. Guess what I have coming at you guys? One minute, press pause, you're out the front door, you're sprinting down that street, let all your neighbors see you go crazy. Sprint back, let them ask you what the heck you're doing. Get back in your basement, you got one minute. Ready, set, go! Hey Pulse Warriors, welcome back. How was that fire drill? We're ready for our next circuit. This time, all you need is a purple band. I've got mine set up right here. Go ahead and attach it to anything solid. We're going into glute kickbacks, all right? So something solid. I went ahead and took another band off. We're going right into glute kickbacks. 
into a squat press using the purple band. Are you ready to get started? All right, you're gonna come on down with me. Go ahead and get this up, looped up. All right, we're gonna start on the right side. I want you guys to listen to me. You can glance up, but I want you to do it with me. I'm putting my foot inside the purple band, and then I put my knee inside the purple band as well. So I hope everything is nice and aligned. Okay, so now I'm finding some resistance. You might have to practice. I want you to practice a couple times. We're in tabletop position. I'm gonna kick that leg back, drive through my heel, okay? So AJ, maybe come on this other side too. Kick back and I drive through the heel. If this is not difficult, you're going to simply get further away from the anchor, okay? I'm looking for 10 reps. 10 reps on the right. My core is working. Oh, I'm gonna scoot forward. My glutes are working. Kick up, kick up. Try to keep everything squared off the ground. Do you feel imagine? this in your glutes, in your hamstrings, in your core. Woo! Three, two, and finish. Oh man, I made that up at home. That really works. Guys, it's funny what we can make do, right? With just a purple band and a little bit of imagination. So go ahead and kick that right or that left foot in now. We're gonna even it out to the other side. Get yourself set up when you're ready. Dial it in and work. Music licensing reimagined. Good job. That was 10 for me. Did you finish it up? All right. I'm gonna grab that purple band. You can unrig yours. All right, on this next one, I'll have you watch me real quick. We're doing this one to failure, all right? This is to failure. Step inside that band. You're gonna put it across the top of your palms right here. Feet shoulder width apart, lock that core. I squat down, I press up overhead. Squat down. Oh. Some of you, it's only gonna take I press reps. I, own. I know for me, that's all I have. Five. Fight for it. Come on. I know you've got a couple more in you. I want you to take them right now. Fight for it, make it burn. Come on, you got it, you got it. And time. Now what happens if you weren't able to achieve a full overhead press? All right, if you only got a couple of those, but you wanna get a little bit more in, guys, take that band overhead, get some tension on those shoulders, do an overhead squat, just like this, okay? So still working shoulders. I know most of my Pulse Warriors are able to achieve at least a few of those squat presses. That's what I'm looking for. We got three rounds of this. Very little rest between. Recover your heart rate if you need to. Otherwise, you're right back in this. Let's get it busy. I'm back in. And I'm kicking back. Let's go, Warriors. Tabletop position, tummy tight. Drive through the heel. Drive through the heel. Work. Come on. That's 10 for me. I want you to switch this up, get into your left side. You got 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Don't wait for me, I want you to get started. As you're doing this, I want you to push through the heel. All right, I want you to squeeze your glutes. You should feel a pinch at the very top of your butt up there. All right, I want you to drive it out. Hold for a solid second. Pinch and return. Keep working, keep working. You've got it all the way to 10. Nice, and if you did that right, your heart rate should be a little high. You're going right back into that purple band. You gotta mentally prepare on these. I know these are hard. These are tough. For some of you, you might even wanna to go to a lighter band if you have it. Otherwise, I encourage you to fight through, try it out, bring it right here, right across the palms. Pelvis comes forward, core's tight, shoulders puffed up. Here we go. Squat to press. Work through it. 
Drive those knees out. Artless I.O. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep going. I want at least 8 to 10 of these. 8 to 12. If you have more in you, you give me more. It's your workout. You're getting pumped up at home, right? You got it. Fight for it. We got three rounds of this. Come on. What do you have in you? Music awesome. licensing reimagined. All right. I know some of you are still working. Some of you are wrapping up. And some of you barely made it through. We're going into round three. Round three of these blue kickbacks. I'm going to let you dial it in, guys. You know what to do. I want you to make it hard on yourself. Last set. Best set. Hopefully you heard me. Hopefully you said that at home. Last set, best set. Here we go. I'm starting my left side, even it out here. And in between. Artless I.O. Up and out. <laughs> Music licensing reimagined. That was 10 on the left this time. Go ahead and switch it up. I know you got 10 on the right. I know you don't need to sit here and watch me do it. I want you focused on yourself. I want you dialed in. I want you making that mind-muscle connection, right? Thinking about your glute, squeezing your glute, making it count each and every rep. You had the mental fortitude to get into the gym I today. Guess, you had the self-discipline to turn on this video, and now I want you to keep it all the way through. Don't cheat yourself. Not a single rep. Everyone counts, right? Work through it, guys. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you hanging with me, all right? We got one last set of these squat presses. They're ugly. They are very ugly, I know, but they're doing the trick. Come on in, you're joining me. Flip it up, feet shoulder width apart, tuck that hip under, chest nice and loud. Here we go, Artist to the end, I to the death. Breathe. I want you to keep going if you've got four. Music licensing okay. we imagine. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. All the way. All the way. Let's keep it going. For those of you at home who are still working, I'm right here with you. I've got that overhead press, overhead squat. Let's go. Five more seconds. Keep with me. Two. And time. Woo. That was an ugly set. Good thing we're about to shake it out. Your last and final fire drill, warrior run of the day. You're gonna hit pause. Once again, it's 15 seconds out, 15 seconds back. You got 10 seconds to get out your front door. You got 10 seconds to get back in here to push play again. Let's go warriors, fire drill. Welcome back Pulse Warriors. Hope you got some fresh air that you really did actually go out and do a fire drill when I said to do it. I don't know if you did or didn't based on uh, when I look in your eyes when you get back in here. I know, I know. All right, so we're gonna put those suitcases to good use. I know all of you had packed bags, ready to go on spring break vacation. They're probably still sitting on your bedroom floor. Time to make good use of it. And if you pack anything like me, it's probably a good 50 pounds you're about ready to carry, right? So I actually have here my suitcase. This is, this is more like the carry-on suitcase to the big mama suitcase that I like to pack. Um, we're going into loaded carries. So we call them suitcases here in the gym for a reason, right? And I bet you'll never be able to go through an airport without I looking like this I again. <laughs> so we're gonna grab up that suitcase. All right, I'm gonna stand up as tall as I possibly can. I want you to do the same thing. I'm gonna demonstrate and then I'm just gonna let you go around your house. I'm just looking for open space you guys can walk, okay? So check it out. I'm gonna go as tall as I can and then I'm gonna tick my hips under like somebody's Music punching me in the gut the and then I'm gonna take my arms out. I'm gonna make sure my shoulders and hips are square. From here, whoa, everything is locked and I'm walking heel to toe, heel to toe. This is very difficult, especially with the 30 pound suitcase. All right, I want you to fight for it. Now that you've watched me guys, I'm gonna show you real quick the wrong way to do it. I want you to do it the right way, of course, and then I'm just gonna let you loosen your house, okay? You're gonna try and find about 10 steps on each foot before you meet me back, all right? So here's the wrong way. 
I'm gonna pick up that suitcase and I'm gonna let it cock me to the side and one shoulder dips or I crack in the spine. This is probably how most of you walk through the airport. Okay, all lopsided. Let's not do that. Let's get in position. Everybody with me? Shoulders square, hips are square. Boop. Hips under, tummy tight. There we go, heel to toe. I'll see you back here in a second. Right. Seven, I'm going to Cabo. It's all right, she's inside. Really. I got all night, so just sit tight, so just sit tight. Push your legs ahead of you. You're going to have to be watching me right now, AJ. You're going to be walking around. Not me. Oh. Oh. Time. If that suitcase was in your right hand, you should really feel it on this left side oblique. This core is really working. We're going to break up that set. We're going to just stick to the right side for now. We're going to superset it with some squat presses. Common exercise we do all the time right here for your little burnout. Grab them up right away, guys. Get your set of weights. Feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to put those weights on my shoulder. I got to squat. It's an overhead press right here, finding my own rhythm. Let's go 12 reps. Six, seven, eight, nine. Keep working. 10, 11, and 12. Whew. Music Heart rate is elevated. That's where I want it in this next time. We're finishing up here, guys. Left hand this time. Tummy tight, shoulders back. Here we go. Slowly carry. 10 steps. Each foot around your house you go. I'll never be able to walk to an airport. Again. I O. The wrong way. It's only the right way. One way to carry a suitcase. Oh, ten steps back. Dump it, dump it, grab those weights. We're Music back in the squat presses. Be in this Metcom, here we go. 12 reps. Find your rhythm. Keep it going. As soon as you get those 12, pick up that two with your right hand. You're going through this one more time. 10 steps on the right, 10 steps on the left. Come on back. You got that hand in the two in the right I side, guys. I Get after it. Keep working. I'm right here with you. I'm waiting for you. We're all pretending like we're on vacation. We're walking through the airport. It's the most we can do right now, right? We're there in mind, body, not body, mind and spirit. Our bodies are here. We're Music licensing, we imagine. All right, we're having some fun with it. Keep going, keep that suitcase in your right hand to get all those steps in. Yeah? Bring it on back. Like I said, you got one more time each side. As soon as you hit those 10 steps, you're grabbing those weights again. We're gonna do a total of four rounds of these squat presses. Right here, I'm back with you. Squat press, looking for those 12 reps. Artless I.O. Come on. Guys, I know I quit early. I just want to say, get those arms all the way up overhead. Keep pushing to get your heart rate elevated. This is almost the end. I want you all working hard here with me all the way through. Once you hit those 12 reps, you got Music your final load of carry. Re final suitcase carry. This time it's in my left hand. Everything in position. I know you're tired. This is where you got to fight. Which I know you like to Working hard. Walking around the house. Your family might be asking you, what the heck are you doing, Mom? <laughs> Carrying our suitcases around like we're hoping Music to go on vacation. Music lessons and reimagined. See, I'm just going to look like I'm ready for vacation. I'm going to look bikini ready when I finally get to, to put that swimsuit on this summer. Because I didn't take a day off. 
not a single day off. I'm with my pole coaches the whole time. And final set, guys. Final set of squat presses. Music I'm with you all imagine. the way through this time. You need whatever number you've got left in you. Don't stop at 12 if you've got more. Keep going. This is it. Last set. Come on. working if you've got more in you. That was 12. Keep working if you've got more in you. Keep going, keep going. Can you get to 20? Can you get to 25? What do you have? It's the last exercise of the day. Awesome work, Paul Sawyers. Ooh, my heart rate is high. Well, I don't want to send you out of here before we bring it down a little bit. So let's do that together, okay? Catch your breath. Grab a drink of water if you need to. A couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth as I start to bring my own heart rate down. Let's go ahead and just do this together. I'm going to take it down to the ground right here. I'm going to start with a little cat cow just to open up that spine. Stretch it out right here. Tuck it under and the opposite direction. Work some good shoulders today. Music licensing reimagined. Oh. Last one. And exhale. Go ahead and bring it all the way down to the ground for me. We've got scorpion next. So arms come out to the side. I want you to take your right leg up and over and just let it all come all the way to the ground. And exhale. I'm not a yoga instructor, I don't pretend to be, but I do know it feels good and I like this one. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Guys, only do what feels great. Um, so we stretch out the back. Other side here. Good. Like I said, while we're already down here, one of the easiest ways to stretch the lats is back into that child's pose. So I'm just gonna walk it out here. Stretch my lats. Okay. And then I'm gonna rock into the cobra. Right here. Pull those shoulders back as you do this. Elongate that neck as best you can. Good. Tuck the toes under. Go ahead and drive it up into a downward dog. There we go. You can pedal those feet into the ground if it feels right. A couple seconds here. All right, let's and then walk the hands to the feet. We're going to hang out here for just a second. Okay, a couple deep breaths in. Do the nose. Out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and slowly roll it up. Roll out those shoulders. Music Take that right hand this time. I want you to reach imagine. all the way up to the ceiling. Take it across your back. Give yourself a little pat on the back because you just completed another in-home workout. Way to go, false warriors.